Hi, this is Sharon. Here's a little sampler for my Burning Academy. Enjoy. So just wanted to give you a little bit of, of an insight as to how I go about um, composing a piece because a lot of times you'll be working on a pattern. The pattern might be great, but there might just be something that, that just doesn't sit quite right with you. So now I want to help you to, to learn to see the options that you have and that's what really helps you to take a pattern, which this is just a plain old pattern, and really make it your own composition by being free about changing certain parts of it, the surf, the rocks, moving things around, so that when you're done with your piece, your piece really is, even though you're using a pattern, it really is a unique piece of artwork, and you've made it yours, because that's always very satisfying. In studying my overall composition, I've come to the conclusion that that there's that I need to stop the eye here as I look because I have and I can't get all of this on on the, on the screen but I have some large interesting rocks here that are holding the eye into the picture plane I want the eye to be focused on the ship but then I also want the eye to move around the piece and so I'm balancing values and textures and and there's a lot going on in this piece, but I really want the center point of this piece to tell a story, and that story is about this ship moving its way through these rocks, okay? But the problem is I have a lot of open space here, which in my drawing actually looked pretty nice. And this is why you don't you want to have a little bit of flexibility when you're working with a pattern to change it depending on, on how you feel. I'm feeling right now that this would look a whole lot better if I put another rock up here to stop the eye from coming completely off the picture plane, I want the viewer's eye to enjoy moving around, look at all the, I've put a lot of detail down here, I've spent a lot of time down here on the surf, look at the rocks, I'll probably put a bird or two on the rocks, and um, I'm feeling right now that with this area open, the eye is going to be drawn right off the picture plane. So what I want to do is I'm going to add in a rock. All right, so I've drawn in the rock here, and I'm following some of the some of the grain here a bit. Um, but there's there's some lines going through my rock, and even though you know I'll probably be able to burn over them, I want to eliminate them so that it, it doesn't confuse the viewer's eye. So what I've I've put in I've drawn in a little bit of um, foam in here. This will be surf, and so I'm just lightly scraping some of these lines that are in my surf. I don't have to get rid of all of it, okay? I just have to get rid of enough of it that it's no longer prominent. When I scrape, I prefer to use a little brush because what happens is if, if you scrape or you sand, you see all of that? When you brush away, the oils from your hands will grind that into the wood. Then it just gets icky. All I'm doing right now is trying to create a basic form that I can work off of, keeping the lines very jagged. In here I'm going to have a little rock sticking out. Keeping these lines really jagged so it gives me somewhere to You see down here where I've scraped off from before, should be able to burn right over that and not have any issues, not have anything that bothers the viewer's eye. Yep, there we go. See, I didn't have to eliminate every line, but just enough. Now I just go through and build up this rock. Again, I'm going to not leave very many highlights because it's more in the background, so I'll be working more with grays, with, you know, intermediate values instead of black blacks and white whites. And that'll give it more the appearance of distance. And then down here. Have a little surf going up in here. And 
just keep working on it. And that is how you alter a composition. I'm going to go through and, and add in that horizon area, but now I've got a little bit of color to work with and I can adjust that horizon so that the color works to my, the values work to my advantage. And also with this, I have stopped the viewer's eye from just going right off the picture plane and kept their eye in, allowing them to follow the detail into my composition and really enjoy all the work I've put into this.